In today's video, we are going to be sharing with you guys our honest thoughts on the Simply Good and Beautiful math, and we're going to show you how we do a lesson using the Simply Good and Beautiful math. So if you're interested, just keep on watching. Gina for short and welcome back to my channel. In today's video, I'm going to be talking about the Simply Good and Beautiful math. I'm going to be giving you guys my honest thoughts on the math, but also share with you guys my thoughts of who I think would like this math and who I think maybe it wouldn't work for. And let's just talk all things Simply Good and Beautiful math. But if it is your first time here, welcome. I am a homeschool mom of three kids. I am a homeschool mom, but I am also a full-time working mom. One of the things that we love about homeschooling is that it's flexible and you can make homeschooling your own. So if you like homeschooling, motherhood, lifestyle, anything in between there, make sure to subscribe to the channel. So let's get into the video. Okay, so here is the lesson that we're going to be doing today. We're on lesson 115 and we have basically five more lessons to go until we finish the whole math um, course. So uh, we're pretty towards the end of it. So we're able to really know what we like about this program. So I can't wait to share with you guys after you see our lesson, what we really love about the good and the beautiful. And I'm also going to share what I think people might not like. So the first part is just, um, just review. There's a little game for us to play. And then we have here, uh, this is the lesson. That's the lesson. And then uh, Nicholas actually already did his independent review. I've already mentioned quite a bit of times that I am a full-time working homeschool mom. So um, I do work. So while I work, Nicholas can do his independent review all on his own and he did. And I just kind of just look through it right now and everything seems right. He understands it. And he usually also does another worksheet that I get him to do along with his math workbook and it's just for extra review um, and it's just something that we do because usually math usually takes us around 20 minutes to complete or even less so I'm gonna show you guys the um, the extra book that I get him to do so this is the extra curriculum that I have for him it's called time and uh, Canadian money and it's from the Canadian curriculum press and he actually finished all the money section so we're actually on the time section right now and he does one to two pages a day just depending on you know um, depending on the day yeah. so that he did all this today so he finished that and then tomorrow he'll do another page maybe he'll do two pages it just depends and you don't have to do this this is not something that you really have to do but i mentioned that i like doing this because uh usually there is american money on here so let me check let me see one that has american money so right over here see usually the activities have american money on it and when it does we just cross it off and i get him to do um you know a worksheet on money here but we already finished all the money worksheet we also have our cash register here and, and we, have, we have exactly we have the money and we sometimes just do fun activities with money so at the end of the day i think i have more than enough resources for me to teach nicholas money so we're all good okay nicholas uh the first part we're gonna do we're gonna do a little bit of review so we're gonna do some skip counting can you count backwards from threes uh from 21 to three so backwards 20. so start at 21. okay 21 is 18 16 Zero. Yeah. Okay, we're gonna play the fractions game. So we're gonna get our dice. You know how to do the fraction yeah. game, right? Okay, so let's see who's gonna win. Oh, you got it! Already. So basically this fraction game is just a game of basically chance. These dices that come with fraction it has a picture of the fraction and then one of them is the actual fraction. We have to match them. And if we're able to get a match, that means that we can check off and we have like three chances three. each. Yeah. So, so let's go. Just like right now, I did one out of three. Yeah, you got it right. So now mommy's turn. Okay, 
This is a good day as any. Plus, you learned from the last lesson that area is the space inside a 2D shape. Find the area of this rectangle by counting the square units. Can you so Nicholas, he knows already this concept. So sometimes that does happen. Nicholas already knows basically the concept that yeah, we're teaching. Like that equation thing that you yeah. Like one and then okay, so what we're gonna do is we're gonna just gonna skip over that part. So if I see that it's something that he already knows, there's no reason for me to um, you know, just keep on going over that concept for no reason and just frustrating. So what we're gonna do is we'll just do the lesson and you can do it really fast. We're probably gonna finish this like in two minutes. This morning have so clear a lot as I need to see the horizon. So while Nicholas finishes off uh, his little assignment here, I'm just gonna talk about a little bit about the stuff that I really like about this program. Okay, so a little bit of things that I really like about The Good and the Beautiful's, their new edition for math, is how easy, open and go, I don't even have to think about it, it's just very easy for the parent, which is the teacher, and the student. It doesn't take very long, at least level two. It's very um, straight to the point, I would say. Since I am Canadian, we do not use American currency. And it's just really sometimes annoying just having to see, oh, this is the, this is the dime, this is the nickel. Even for me, it's a little bit time consuming. So I do prefer just having a curriculum there just to kind of make it easier on myself. This edition, I really do like that they have um, less manipulatives. I love manipulatives. I do think it's really great, but I'm not gonna lie. I don't miss the old math. I do not miss it at all. Um, I was actually ready to change curriculum because of that math. So I was happy when they came out with this new edition. It is exactly what I needed in a curriculum. So I feel really great about um, the changes that were made. And I know that some you know, families, they do miss the old math because they really like the games and whatnot. That was not my case. <laughs> I was ready for something new and this is exactly what I needed in the season of life that I'm in. Now some families, some some homeschool moms think that there's something missing in the sense of like there's not enough practice. Now that's to family, that depends on your family and what you're looking for. For me, it's more than enough. Right, Nicholas? Do you think it's enough? Yeah, Nicholas thinks it's perfect. I feel like if I feel like he needs some extra practice on something, I can just do that on the side. And honestly, guys, it's not a big deal. Like the only thing that I noticed that he needed a little bit of extra practice is on the AM and PM when it came to time and that's pretty much it I think that was the biggest one. Math is his favorite subject so uh, I'm gonna take it on to Nicholas. Nicholas what is your favorite, come over here, what is your favorite thing about the good and the beautiful math? What is your favorite if I were to ask you? Maybe your favorite activity. What's your favorite activity? The, the, um, the dice. You do like the dice game. The dice game, the fraction one, it's such a fun game where he can learn about fractions and we do those activities quite a bit. That's a fun game, right? What about, do you like anything else? Do you like? I like the go -go equations too. The equations, which yeah. equations are your favorite? He's gonna go look at it. Okay, so there is a portion in uh, the independent review where he learns about the weight of each item. So he thinks that's pretty fun. Um, so there's, all, it's very, if you look at the math, it's very colorful. It's very engaging, yeah. right? So it's not boring at all. Is math your favorite subject? Yeah. What do you think? Do you like the good and the beautiful math? Do you like it? Yeah, it's pretty good. Compared to the other curriculums that I choose, I think this is my It's favorite. one of your favorite subjects, right? Okay, so thanks, babe. Thanks for showing me. Okay, you're good. Okay, so we really enjoy it, but now if you're looking for a curriculum that doesn't have any color, maybe you're not gonna like this. If you're looking for more of a mastery approach uh, instead of that spiral approach, maybe you won't like this curriculum. Uh, the good thing is The Good and the Beautiful does offer um, a lot of their levels for free, so check out their website to see if maybe you can download a free PDF 
print a couple of sheets and see if it would work for your child. And if you have a good printer, you have a free math curriculum right there waiting for you. So I really like it. It has made our life so much easier. Usually it takes me about 20 minutes to do math with Nicholas and then we're done. And I like it because he can do the independent review on his own. So he'll do the lesson, right? And then the child will have an independent review to do. And he can do this independent review on his own because it's concepts that he's already learned and he is in the process of mastering. Now, if you're looking for more of a mastery approach where they're continuing to do the same thing over and over and over again until they master it, or you're looking for a little bit more practice once you do the lesson, you wanna do more practice on that certain concept, then that's something that you have to see you know, and be honest with yourself, will this work for you know your child? So I think this is perfect for us. It does sometimes have stories that you're going to see in this math curriculum. So it'll have a small little story. Um, let me see if I can find one. And they'll sometimes have even picture studies. So, cause you know the good and the beautiful has to add some beautiful art to their curriculum. But this is uh, one of them where we're learning about multiplication. So what does it say here? Point to the barn. In the barn, there are two rows of four stalls. There are four stalls in each row. How many stalls are all together? So we're doing multiplication facts by looking at the picture. But maybe you are looking for more of a black and white curriculum. This is math and this is what it is. Uh, if you're looking for that, maybe you won't like this curriculum, but it's something to just think about. Not all curriculums will be perfect for every child, right? But I think that this is a solid curriculum if you're looking for something easy. I think it is pretty straight to the point when it comes to, uh, to teaching the concept. But I can see why certain, you know, this wouldn't work for certain families. But for us so far, it's been a big thumbs up. So that is my honest thoughts on the math curriculum from The Good and the Beautiful. If you're thinking of trying them out, make sure to always take the assessment test. Make sure that you are putting your child in the appropriate level. That's very important because if you do not put your child in the appropriate level, it could be too easy for them, but it also might be too hard for them. And then that could make homeschooling unenjoyable. So far, math has been one of our favorite subjects. It's very easy. And because I'm a working homeschool mom, it just makes it easy for me to teach my son math but also I'm able to, he's able to do a lot of things independently and that's what I need in a curriculum right now. It has to have some type of independence that the child can be kind of independent and then I can just do my lesson with him and sometimes when I say 20 minutes, that means he's doing his portion and usually five to 10 minutes and we're done. You saw that in the lesson that Nicholas kind of already knew what he had to do. So I didn't even go through the lesson with him, which would only take a couple of more minutes. Uh, give or take but we did the problems I saw that he understood it and we are good to go so that is the good and the beautiful for you guys let me know did you try out the good and the beautiful do you like it did it not work for your child at the end of the day every homeschool family is different there's nothing wrong with a curriculum not working for you it's just the beauty of homeschooling you get to choose what's best for you and uh, your child so thank you so much for watching guys I hope that you like this video and I will see you in my next video. Bye, guys. Today and not tomorrow.